a team of ambitious scientists wants to transmit an interstellar message containing information about the human DNA and the Earth's coordinates, hoping it could reach possible neighboring aliens. The interstellar message, named the Beacon of the Galaxy, will also include some theories of math and physics, depictions of human figures, and a roadmap through the galaxy to Earth should the aliens want to reach us back. The message will target the heart of the Milky Way, a region scientists believe could host possible extraterrestrial life. They believe it offers a large number of habitable systems due to a dense cluster of stars. The team of international scientists led by NASA hopes to eventually broadcast the message in binary code. They will target the heart of the Milky Way using the SETI Institute's Allen Telescope Array in California and the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope in China. This will not be the first time humans have transmitted an interstellar message. In 1962, Soviet scientists sent a Morse code saluting the planet Venus. This message, however, was only symbolic, and its purpose was to test sending radio waves into space. But in 1974, the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico sent an interstellar message targeting a cluster of stars about 25,000 light years away. Let's just say we will not be around when this one reaches its destination. The message, sent in binary code, included a human stick figure and a diagram of the telescope. Then, in 1977, when both Voyager spacecrafts 1 and 2 were launched into space to explore the outer solar system, they both carried on their exterior a gold-plated phonograph record. The records both contained sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. They also included spoken greetings in 55 languages and a 90-minute musical program with a Mozart piece among the selection. With our currently available and limited technologies, sending interstellar messages is much easier than interstellar travel. However, interstellar communication is not that easy. The chances of us receiving any reply are extremely low, and even if we did, it would take thousands of years for that message to reach us back. Exchanging a normal conversation would take tens of thousands of years. That's not even considering the fact that we and the aliens might find it difficult to understand and decode those messages. Meanwhile, some scientists are concerned. Over a decade ago, the late professor Stephen Hawking stated that humans should stop sending messages into space, fearing that we could attract hostile aliens. Highly advanced and intelligent aliens may not be particularly friendly and could be looking for other planets to colonize, which would bring havoc and death to humankind. Other scientists disagree and argue that highly intelligent aliens who have achieved intergalactic communication may be more peaceful and looking for alliance and cooperation with humans. Nevertheless, many scientists encourage endeavors to send messages and communicate with possible extraterrestrial civilizations out in space. Regardless of the risks, an interstellar message could speed up the extremely low odds of humans finding any alien neighbors one day. Do you think scientists should continue sending messages into outer space? Or should we refrain from sending certain information? Share your thoughts in the comment section.